Hello, Cancers, and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. Cancer, I am here to do the reading that I promised you yesterday, okay? To see what your person is feeling, what they're thinking about you right now, currently, at this moment. Um, I couldn't do it yesterday, guys. I was having all kinds of technical issues with my camera. So um, we're doing it today, as promised, okay? Um, I'm going to check into the overall energy first and see what's going on like in the background. And then I'm going to pull um, two cards out of this deck of what they're thinking right now and two cards out of this deck of what they're feeling. Okay, but first let's do the overall energy. Anyway, Cancer, this reading is for the collective, so it may not be for all of you. Okay, just take what resonates, my darlings. Leave the rest behind. And thank you so much, everyone, for all of your support. The likes, subscribes, comments, shares, um, everything. Cancer, thank you for everything. I love you guys right back. All right. Um, messages for Cancer. Yeah, you're kind of, um, you're in this energy where you're just focused on you, okay? You're focused on you here, Cancer. Um, but this person wants to talk. They're, I feel like they've been avoiding you or you could be avoiding this communication. Take it how it resonates with you. It could go either way. But they're about to take this risk. This to me feels like, um, it feels like the fool card in this deck. So within days, weeks, or months, I feel like it's going to be coming in quick. Okay? Because they're racing in now. Okay? Um, but yeah, I feel like it's going to be coming in quick, Cancer. This person is about to confess how they truly feel about you. They're in love. This is genuine love here. Okay? Genuine love. Give me one more for the overall energy. You may be like not wanting to have this conversation. For someone out here, you could be trying to avoid this. Um, yeah, your person is completely stuck in their head about you, Cancer, and they're starting to feel frustrated. Um, that's why I feel like it's going gonna, it's gonna to come in soon um, because this person kind of feels like they're ready to pop. They can't, they can't get you off of their mind. They know they've got to communicate. They're about to come in um, with some kind of offer here. They're going to talk. They want to get on the same page, okay? All right, so let's see what they're thinking and feeling about you. Aries through Pisces, right? So um, if your person is an Aries, I feel like this person could be in a marriage um, already here, giving to somebody else and ignoring the situation with you. I'm getting the sense that this is a marriage, all right? So I feel like this person is realizing it may be all about providing for this, uh, for whoever they're with uh, financially. It's all about money, Cancer. And I'm getting the sense that they saw you as not having enough to bring to the table. So they chose someone else and they're spending all their money and effort on somebody else right now in a commitment. Um, yeah, but they see, they, they're realizing that they're just there to be a provider, okay? Really is what it is. How are they feeling? They're afraid, Cancer, um, because I feel like if they, they know if they left this other person behind, they could lose a lot of money, okay? I, I don't know why they're thinking like that, because they're actually spending a lot of money on this other person. Um, but they see you as their match here, and I feel like they're respectful of you now. They thought that you didn't have anything to bring to the table then, but they're respecting you now, okay? They could even be trying to communicate like telepathically with you, so you may be picking up on this person's energy, which could be triggering you to not, like, not want to have this conversation. You know what I mean? But yeah, that's telling me that they're scared. Um, they may be afraid too. They could be seeing you in their dreams. So um, something about that as well. But yeah, that's what they're thinking and feeling right now at this moment. Okay. If your person is an Aries. So if your person is a Taurus, 
if your person is a Taurus, I feel like um, they're feeling really heartbroken here. Uh, I'm getting a sense of regret off of this person for pushing you away. It, this was a third party situation as well, and they could be getting a lot of flack from people in their community about this and how they treated you. Because they, they may be trying to defend themselves here. They could be going through some kind of battle in the background against other people too. Um, because of this third party heartbreaking situation. So how are they feeling about you? They're irritated by all of these other people around them. They, they're they feeling heartbroken, um, doing a lot of crying here, and these people that are coming at them with their opinions, they won't leave them alone. So I feel like they're, people just won't leave this person alone, and all they want to do is be left alone so they can think about you, um, so that they can be inspired, um, so that they can pick up on the downloads and the messages. I feel like this person just wants everybody away from them so they can have an enlightenment. Okay, that's what this is. You know, when they're alone, they're creative. They could be working on a creative project or um, trying to write you some kind of letter, but they want people to leave them alone. Okay, except for you. <laughs> they're heartbroken over you. All right, so if your person is a Gemini, Cancer, they see this Gemini thinks that it is completely over with you, okay? Um, you've got your back turned. You're protecting your love here. It's coming to an end here. Um, yeah, this, connect, this connection is coming to an end. You could even, somebody here, I'm just picking up, somebody here, there's a karmic who is a Gemini that could be wishing the worst for you, Cancer, okay? Sending you some really bad energy, wanting you out of the picture, okay? So, yeah, that's for someone. I don't know, I don't know who that's for, but, all right, how is this Gemini feeling? This person, they know that they hurt you, okay? Um, they know they broke your wing. I feel like they're watching you out here um, healed, getting wish fulfillment, working on something creative that's becoming a big success. You're getting your wishes fulfilled here. Um, and they know they hurt you. I feel like they feel really bad, you know, empathetic, right? Um, sympathetic about how they um, how they broke your wing cancer okay they feel bad about hurting you but they also see how much you've healed all right so if you're dealing with another cancer oh cancer I feel like um, this person sees you moving forward here having having this victory right closing out a cycle they may even think that you've got new love here coming into the picture, right? Um, or they may have made a decision here and just want to choose you. Um, somebody here could be getting um, kind of encouraged to come towards you, okay? Cheered on a little bit, right? I feel like this person wants to come towards you, Cancer. Um, if you're dealing with a Cancer, how do they feel? They're frustrated. They can't reach you fast enough. They're feeling really guilty. Yeah, they think that you found new love or that you've got new love coming in. They're also, they could be seeing you having some kind of victory, maybe even moving on, moving away with somebody new. Um, they've, uh, they know they're, it kind of feels like they're in a rush, like they need to hurry towards you, Cancer, but they know they wasted all their time and now they, um, they may have some kind of blockage or delay coming to you. There could be some kind of car issues as well. And this person, they feel like tucking their tail in between their legs because they know this is their fault. They let too much time pass. Okay. All right. So if you're dealing with a Leo, this person wants to change some things around. Okay. Um, they want to come in and give you an apology for sure. They're, they're willing to do and say whatever they have to in order to change things with you. How do they feel? They see you leaving the scene. 
I feel like um, this person could have recently freed themselves too. This could be somebody who's just been released from jail for someone. But I feel like they see you leaving the scene and freeing yourself from the situation and being enthusiastic for your future, Cancer. And now they want to come in and apologize, okay? All right, so if you're dealing with a Virgo... Oh, man. I'm feeling like there's a lot of fighting going on behind the scenes, okay? Um, and I'm getting that this is somebody else's energy, so they're fighting with a karmic or some kind of a third party, I feel. Some uh, feminine energy, for sure. Possible fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. There's a whole lot of fighting going on in the background um, about you, I feel, Cancer, okay? Yeah, how do they feel? unfulfilled regretful sorry they're very sorry here um incomplete without you i feel like you know what cancer you're the one who has this person's heart and they're doing a lot of fighting with somebody on the side and this person is sad they're in tears they they may be looking at a photo of yours okay um yeah, looking at your pictures, very sorry and repentant, remorseful for how, for how they treated you, forever turning their back on you because whoever they chose over you, it's nothing but a battle. It's a constant fight, okay? So that's what? That's Virgo, right? If you're dealing with the Libra, um, this Libra is just not, they're not speaking. They're not budging. Uh, I feel like they're allowing this to come to an end, right, with the Wheel of Fortune. And, um, yeah, they're, they are not going to talk here, this Libra. I feel like this person was supposed to make some kind of effort here, Cancer, and they're just, they're refusing to do it. They're, I'm getting a stubbornness off of this person, I got to say. Um, yeah, and this, this situation is coming to an end here. It's the end to a cycle. Yeah, they were supposed to, I feel like this person was supposed to apologize to you. Um, they may be feeling very embarrassed, like they just don't want to deal with something. I don't know what happened between you, but um, right now, currently, they may feel embarrassed uh, because you're leaving. You're done, and you're leaving them behind, waving their hands around, you know. I'm kind of getting the sense that this person just doesn't want to budge. They're being stubborn, but they don't. They also don't want to look like the loser in this. And that's what they're looking like here, Cancer. Okay? Yeah, that's if you're dealing with the Libra. You're moving on, though. All right, so if you're dealing with the Scorpio. Well, this person's angry, okay? <laughs> right out the gate, they're angry. Um, and they're realizing here that their life is falling apart. Um, this is what they're thinking about. They could be having some health issues that they're just finding out about. They could be um, in a lot of financial trouble right now. They may even end up being homeless, Cancer, okay? Because um, I see them wandering around in the cold, all right? But, um, yeah, they're angry about this, but this person... Um, it's almost like they want to communicate, but it's, it's, it's in an angry way. It's like they have something to say, you know. I'm getting the sense that you're doing better than them, and they don't like that. And their life is kind of hitting rock bottom right now. Okay, so how are they feeling? They may want to come towards you for help, okay? Um, so yeah, they're trying to, I feel like you may be doing way better than they are and they want to get stable again. Okay. Um, they want to feel empowered. They want to feel powerful. They want to feel strong, right? Um, who is this person? But their life is a mess, cancer behind the scenes. All right. In five of pentacles energy, they're not doing so great. So this person may actually end up bringing you a little gift or something, but I kind of get the sense that they need help and they may want to take advantage of your abundance. All right, and they're angry about it too. 
All right, so if you're dealing with the Sagittarius, that was Scorpio, correct? If you're dealing with the Sagittarius, um, this person's really mad too. I feel like behind the scenes, the Sagittarius is saying some pretty nasty things about you, Cancer. Um, it's very cutting, nasty things. They're spreading a bunch of rumors. They're being very immature. Um, they don't, it's almost like they don't think there's going to be any consequences, nor do they care. Uh, I feel like behind your back, they're, they're talking smack about you, talking trash about you, Cancer. And they're angry, and they're just, they're lashing out, immature. See, look at this. They're like a little child, right? Um, here's the thing. They're upset because you're moving on, making big, boss, bold moves, right? Happy, high-vibing without them. You're confident in that. Sorry, Cancer. You're confident in your decisions to move on away from this person. Like, you, you're, you don't really care. You're excited and enthusiastic. I'm getting a narcissistic vibe off of this person, and they could have... Um, they could have some like childhood trauma that they need to heal from, but they're feeling very abandoned here. They're feeling ashamed of how they treat you, but yet at the same time, they keep trash talking you. They just keep doing it, okay? And it's, it's not turning your head. It's not getting your attention. You just keep barreling forward. And um, yeah, secretly they're ashamed, but in the, to the public, all they do is talk about you behind your back, all right? And none of it is good. None of it is good. They're just, they're acting like an immature little kid. All right, so if you're dealing with a Capricorn, this Capricorn feels like a complete fool because they know they left behind an earth angel. Period, done. Yep, they feel like a complete idiot. And I feel like this person was warned. You know, they got a warning here from this little dog down here. Hey, watch your step. You don't know where you're going. You're going to fall right off that cliff, you know. They they just kind of left you behind and um, and didn't think about that there would be any consequences for that. They just did whatever they wanted. Like they, this could have been an impulsive move to leave you behind, but now they're realizing they left behind an earth angel and they're not going to be able to find another one. Okay. Um, how are they feeling? Oh, um, cancer. I feel like um, because of what they did to you, this person's whole life is being uprooted. Okay. Their whole life is being uprooted, um, and they realize it. This, see, this is why they feel like a fool. Um, I feel like th just everything is kind of falling apart for this person. They may not know where to go. Um, they, they may even need some kind of help. Everything is going crazy for them right now in the background, okay? All because they, um, they were mean to an earth angel. They, they, they didn't care. They weren't careful. They were, they, they misused an earth angel here. Okay. Mistreated an earth angel. So yeah, they don't know. Um, they don't know where to go. I feel like this person's about to lose everything and they know that their karma, they're getting this karma because of, um, what they did to you. Okay. Specifically. Yeah, you know, it says unsure here too. Maybe um, they know they need to come towards you, but they may be a little bit afraid to do that because they know who you are and what you are, all right? All right, so if you're dealing with an Aquarius, oh, this Aquarius is still in toxicity, man. Okay, whoever this is, they've got a lot of options. They may even have some addictions here. They could even be in a codependent situation. I feel like this person's kind of sort of hitting the streets. Okay, that's the feeling that I'm getting here. They've got too many options. They've ha they have a clouded, like clouded judgment, a clouded mind, right? Um, and they're just still in toxicity. All right. Um, yeah, I'm getting the sense that they're they're on something. Like they're they have some kind of addiction. Um, alcohol, some kind of substance. 
they're very, they're in a lot of toxic, you don't want to be, um, you don't want to, you don't want to be around this person right now. How are they feeling? Sad? They're, I feel like this person's crying because they thought that you would talk to them or you would chase them. They've been waiting to hear from you and it's not happening. Um, this I'm seeing is suffering a huge loss like bereavement, okay? Um, a lot of tears, a lot of crying here. They're feeling hopeless. They're watching the soulmate connection go under, basically. They're watching this um, this end, but they're they're still. I mean, their judgment is very clouded. That I get the sense this person isn't like thinking clearly. Um, yeah, and they're looking at other options anyway. I feel like they they they've tried to replace you, Cancer, and can't. And now I feel like it's too late to get you back, and you're not going to be contacting them. You know. All right, and if you're dealing with a Pisces, oh, this Pisces is stuck in their mind here. Um, I feel like they're on fire for you here. They want this new beginning. They're feeling very passionate. I'm getting the sense this person just can't get you off of their mind. They're angry with themselves because they, they still don't know how to come towards you. You're not speaking to them. Um, yeah, they're mad because they just can't seem to get you off their mind. And I feel like this person has tried. They've tried. They've tried to stop thinking about you, Cancer, and they can't. And the longer this goes on, the more angry they get, you know. Um, yeah, and they don't know how to come towards you. Yeah, they're very confused um, and, and disoriented. Yeah, they don't know how to come towards you. So anyway, Cancer, let me get you a, a question and an answer, okay? I'm going to pull um, two cards out of my question deck so you guys can pick your card and then we'll see what the answer is. So think about your question, Cancer. All right, think hard on your question here. I'm going to pull two cards. Okay. Card number one, card number two, right? Um, so whatever card you pick, that's going to be the answer to your question. Of course, it's not going to resonate with all of you, but, you know. All right, card number one, the answer to your question is no. The anchor of fortune successfully drops from the ship of change as it's rocked wildly by stormy waves of love. Expect well-deserved success and luck stabilizing your life for the long term the anchor of fortune gives you courage the ship of change gives you strength the waves of love give your soul okay and um so the first answer the first card was an was a no so if you chose card number two the answer to your question is yes fate lends you a hand by providing you with the most favorable circumstances these include good luck in your affairs and a chance to improve your situations in the most unexpected way. There will be success, but not without stress. No success worth having ever is. Okay. And I think I'm going to pull you guys um, a fortune cookie as well to see what's coming in for you in the future. All right. Divine, what do you have for my collective cancers? Ooh, and this one fell right on my lap here. Commitment. A commitment is indicated around love or business. It will make you feel better. That's what it says. It will make you feel better, Cancer. Yeah, so Cancer, you do have a commitment coming in the future for you. If it's not this person from your past, it's going to be somebody new. Okay? Um, and yeah, I, I hope this helps you guys. I hope it resonates with you. Um, if you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you like this vibe. And until next time, Cancer, my darlings, know that I love you. Take care of you and peace out.